Okay, welcome back guys. It's your boy Deco Graphics. Today, I will show you how you can make a furniture a advert a flyer on your Android smartphone. So, if a client are into a furniture or carpentry or work furniture work, you can actually come up with uh, this particular flyer or any related work. So, at the end of this training, you'll be able to know how you can come up with a furniture uh, flyer or poster in a very simple and a captivating way so without wasting much of our time let's get started so the first thing to do is to have all the templates which i already uh have on my phone so the first thing i'm going to do is to just um uh, import them one after the other so i'm going to make the first one to be uh, uh to be used as a background so the first one i want to use is this uh, particular images so i'm using this and you can see everything fitting after getting that, <clears throat> I have the second one which I want to use, and that will be at this bottom. So it will be at the bottom here. Okay, perfect. So then we can we can shift it up a bit because it must have this. Then the next thing is to send it to the back. But since we have <clears throat> So we'll bring this one again. Essence is not to make it blur. That is the essence of bringing that. Then uh, after that, we send this to the back. I mean, we, we, we bring it down a little bit. So having done that, we make sure that uh, we allow the mouth to uh, center each other. It shouldn't be too much anyway. So we reduce this. Close it. So let it be 100%. Now centralize it back. And actually, everything is a uh, plum. Now, cool. So that at least we, I just got the one up below to make it uh, look like a background, something related. So these particular images we got uh, at pin interest, the one which uh, which have a chair, so it's like a room. So palo anyway. Then the one by the bottom, I just look at it that uh, I want the one that will, will resemble the floor. So that everything will actually plumb the way it is. So now you select this particular uh, uh, frame. So after selecting that, you just measure and position it around there. So increase this. Then you bring it down here. Very cool. Change the color to blue. Use your relative size to centralize. After that has been done, select another shape. Crap it a little bit. Let it be at the center. Just as perfect <laughs> as this sorry yeah it's cool like this so just bring it in now send it back change the color to something like a deep yellow okay very cool very cool so now we have this being done have it lock after locking it then the next thing we're going to do is to put in all our write-up so we have let's say we have modern furniture so the font I know we can use that will be big and bold. Let's say SK Modernist. So we have a font called SK Modernist. So that will be around there. But it's too bold because it's a font family. I mean it's a family font family, which you can get another one which is not really bold as that. Now use your relative position to position to the center. After that has been done, you make sure because at time not all those fonts normally center after you use the automatic centralization so after that write furniture so we have furniture which i want to use a font that will be more bold than this so we have a achievable black so achievable black will be the best then we increase the size we reduce the size a little bit so have a position around here so after that we centralize so centralizing it, uh, we look at it critically to see that uh, it will actually centralize. If it doesn't centralize, you can adjust manually. Just let your eyes be sharp. So after that, the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that uh, the space here are not too much and the frame, uh, uh, the shape are not too much. So better still, we can just uh, reduce the size of the frame a little bit. So after reducing the size, you can reduce this as well. So guess it's cool like this. So we can we can anyway shift this one up a bit. 
lock the two so after that we shift it up a bit so we go here and when we are going to hide it as well not much and not too slow so after that has been done we can now lock the whole thing but let's create a little space in between this yeah cool then uh, we look at it critically is it really aligned if it doesn't align we can just adjust a little bit to make it align so now when you look at it it aligned properly so after making it align the next thing we're going to do is to just change the color change the color of the upper one to this so we want it to be more lighter so we can go to the color use our color picker so pick the lighter part of this okay so after picking the lighter part you can see the result so now change this one at the bottom just change it to make it uh, look awesome so after that we need to cut out some particular shape here so we have all this small small shape we are just going to change the color so we have the first one let's tag it with blue we go here directly and we rearrange it okay so rearrange so only a little space in between so let it close we have the color change as well to maybe deeper color like this or we pick use the color picker around this particular area okay it's quite different so we pick that then we use the same color just position down so bring it you have to be sorry you have to be you need to pay more attention while you are dealing with this so that uh, everything will be accurate so now that we have that we go to the color we change the color to blue as well we have another color here i mean another shape which we are going to crap but must be in line with what we have selected before just as perfect as this let it just be longer and um, but it will be uh, calculated calculative so you need to be calculative around this area where we change the color to something like deep blue after that has been done uh, we can we can reduce the size a bit so reposition well then we have um we use our sk modernist as we just said use our sk modernist where we have read uh, uh, uh read more let's say read more so having our read more we can reduce the size to whatever we actually wanted so after that change the color uh, the font so the font to be changed to the one that is not as bold as that so that it will be able to fit in here if it doesn't fit in we can just do a kind of uh, adjustment so we have this let it be positioned well so after that so let's shift it up a bit okay after that uh, we can now just adjust cool then bring it this one in very cool so good adding back to our gallery then we'll have this particular shape i mean this particular pattern being positioned around here so cool then it will be there so we have something which we are going to do so we just change the color to two so we will have the black and the white so we have the black so we should be here then we'll have our white color so to differentiate between the two we'll bring it together this white is somehow but somehow white to let's see it will work well okay cool so we have uh, uh we have our things to be done so after that the next thing we're going to do we don't need to use this just let's copy from here after copy we just uh manually adjust a little bit okay after i just just put it around here around this corner if it is too uh okay fine so i we'll just were well.
okay we'll position it well perfect okay cool so the next thing we're going to do we'll put in all our right up there so we have our logo so let's just uh, do something amazing so we type there we have a font called what best font that font each alphabet will give you different font this is the font so when you type in an alphabet let's say alphabet d it will give you a particular logo so look at it it give me logo here so which i can use so it give me this particular logo so i don't need to design another one i will just crop perfectly then position it around here putting my right up so we have flat flatter flatty so we have flatty furniture if you have your work being scattered like that you just go to what you received then you have your work directly so now reposition you just need to repeat the or, or the actions you put on okay position well so after that we can just put in our right up okay put in our right up so now we have uh, sorry we have we have flatty so just be faster so that we won't waste much of our time and uh, we have it reduced the size reduced perfect perfect now the logo is done everything is done then the last but not the least is a kind of a write-up which you want to put so later to this area one we just we need to put a, a captivating text to this particular area so instead of that i'm going to use quotes i don't believe I don't believe you have to be better than everybody else. I believe you have to be better than you ever thought you could be. Exactly what I want. So now we are going to just uh, use the same font. We are using one particular font for the lighter uh, uh, this thing. Then we are using uh, 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 one particular one. Only two fonts was con uh, was was uh, 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 paired together anyway. That is what I want you to learn here. So it's not a uh, about having too much font in the design is all about know the font how you can pair your the font uh, together to be able to communicate uh, what you actually wanted so this is cool right uh, and this is cool okay okay so we just need to position that here and everything is actually plumb okay cool so this is uh how you can come up with uh how you can come up with a furniture flyer on your android smartphone which is in your pc lab i believe we'll learn something from here and this is very simple very captivating you can put in other right ups if needed a right or you think of filling it with other one so i'm going to see after this post i'm going to post another one which will give you a different look and different style. Now you can come up with a, a, a furniture flyer. Thank you for watching. I believe we'll learn something. God bless you.